Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. i got a quick lesson for you today. We're going to learn how to play Should I Stay or Should I Go by The Clash. So we're in standard tuning here, and we're really only like one chord progression to learn. So let's check it out. We're going to start here with this intro, though. It's little things I'll throw in there. We're going to play a D chord, it's a D major, to a G chord, G major chord. Make sure it's a G major that has the open B string in there. And then back to the D. So we have this. All right, then you're gonna mute the strings with your left hand and rake, just drag the, the pick across the strings three times. Then the same chords again. Then you're gonna jump up here, 10th fret, hammer 10 to 13 real quick on the beat. All right, and then we're back to this. So the band kind of comes in. Now here's where the vocals come in. So the vocals start with that same progression a few couple times. All right, now we're gonna play this G to F. We're gonna change this G chord to play like this. All right, so it's gonna be a bar across the first fret. I'm sorry, it's third fret here on the first string and second string. Fourth fret on the B, I'm mean, the G string. Get my head in the game here. And then the fifth fret on the D. And then the fifth fret on the A string. Now you can add the low third fret here on the low E string. Not even sure they really do that. They at least play this top of the chord though. And then move it down two frets. And then back to the G up here. Then we're back to the open string version of it. All right, then we get to an A major chord. And then we're to the D, G again. All right, so I'll just play through it slowly so you can see how those all fall into place. All right, and then we get to what's, you know, probably the chorus of the song. It's kind of the same chord sped up with a little bit different ending. So let me play through it real quick. All right, so this is obviously, this is Joe's drummer's part, there's, you know, other guitar parts going on too, but this would be the part that he would play live. So we're just kind of doing a... I'm doing it as a down, down, up, down, up. Don't let the momentum of your hand stop. See, I did a couple of the strokes without hitting the strings. this so do that with between those two chords and then the same chords again all that a so it's the same chords in the left hand all the way to that a and then from at the end we go it's A a couple times, G to D, and that brings us back to the verse. All right, so that's about it for uh, Should I Stay or Should I Go. It's uh, pretty simple, but, you know, everybody knows it, and you got to know it too. I'll see you again soon for Guitar Lessons 365.com. Bye-bye.